God wants to redeem this world. He wants to show every person mercy. But like the story we see in Nehemiah 9, the, the story of man is sin, disobedience, and rebellion over and over again. Man proved that he was incapable of doing good, uh, incapable of saving himself. And that's why Jesus came to the world and suffered and bled and died in agony on the cross to pay for the sins of a rebellious world, to give us a new start, life from death. God wants all men to repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. God wants every person to forsake his sin and turn to Jesus and be saved. The old hymn says, The way of the cross leads home. And it does. It leads home to heaven, home to the kingdom of God, in the presence of God. But that road home, the way of the cross, is not a way of rebellion. It is not a way of unfaithfulness. It is not a way of neglect. It is a way of commitment. And that's what we see in the people of Nehemiah's day. A people who had come to a place of repentance and who had then made a commitment. They were willing to confess their sin and repent and then commit their way to God. They wanted a new start with God. They were so serious about it that they called their whole nation to sign a written covenant pledging their loyalty to God. They said, and because of all of this, we make a sure covenant and we write it down. Our leaders, our Levites, and our priests, we seal it. And that's what God's looking for, folks, in each one of us. Not a piece of paper written with our hand. God, I commit my life to you. But God's looking for something written on our hearts and our minds. God wants us to love him more than anything. And we cannot if we don't lay the old self down. And accept whatever he has in store for us. That's what Jesus did. He laid down his life and that's what we must do. We have to give our lives to Jesus. And that's when he, when we give our lives to Jesus, that's when he can do mighty, mighty things with us.